Callahan, Dr. Filefinder, and welcome to part two of our special Butterscotch.com five-part series on FileZilla. Now in this segment, I'm going to look at connections. So I'm in FileZilla on my Mac, but don't forget FileZilla runs on Windows, Mac, and Linux. So what I do here will pertain to any version that you're using. So we'll click over here on this far left icon is the Site Manager. You can also get to it by clicking File, Site Manager. We'll click on the icon and it opens up the site manager. Now we'll say new site. You can see I have some sites here. But I want you to see what it's like when you go through. So you have to put in your host. So we'll say the port generally is 21. If there's something different, then your ISP or whoever's having you connect will tell you. The logon type can be anonymous. I'm going to have it be normal, in which case I'll put in my login information so that I can log into my site. I could leave comments here so I could say doc site. That should be good. Now, under advanced settings, I could tell it a local default directory. I know what I'm going to use, but if you didn't, you can click Browse and move through the folders that you want until you find the one where you want to download your files to and then select that. If you know a default remote directory, you could put it in. Sometimes it's easier to wait till you're on the server and then find the directory you want to default to. Under Transfer Settings, many will just pick Default. In some cases, you'll need to select Active and passive is a very good one for many sites. And then character set, most people pretty much leave that alone. So we'll click OK. Now we can click on Site Manager again. There's our new site. We'll say Connect. And there we are, connected. So this is Managing Connections in FileZilla. It's easy, it's quick. It's full featured, and that concludes part two.